In life, timing is everything. And your approach to might control is no different. If you get behind it, it's hard to catch up. At MANA, we know how important timing is for a balanced approach to crop protection. This, this last year was a very challenging year for mite. 2013 was the worst mite year that we've ever seen. Starting from very, very early they were heavy, and all through the season they were heavy. For me, for sure, uh, it was the worst mite year I had, I had seen. Talking to other PCAs and growers, it's the worst they had seen. Uh, this year was one of those years where guys were putting on multiple sprays. I had to spray everything a second time prior to hull split this year. Uh, which is unusual for our operation. Well, 2013 uh, was just a very challenging year when it came to mites for, for growers in the San Joaquin Valley. Additional mite pressure put a lot of stress on these trees. It caught people off guard, and people that did not have the experience with the Apollo at that time waited until their normal time to apply the abomectin, and the leaves were beat up and webbed, and that mite population got established. It was a very challenging time to try to reduce that overall po population. My math is, is a, a concept, to, it kind of explains the dynamics of mites and why they explode and, and become such a big problem so quickly. Uh, each female lays about 120 eggs. 60 of those are gonna be female, they're gonna lay 120 eggs. That's 7,200 eggs. Half of those are, of course, are gonna be female, and when they lay their eggs, now we got 432,000 or 216,000 females laying another 120 eggs, which becomes 26 million. And obviously that's a bit of an oversimplification, but it's, it explains why mites explode so quickly. Our experience is that if you, if you see a mite issue beginning to develop, get on it quick. Because um, once, they, once they get ahead of you, it's hard to, uh, to knock them down and, and not have them flare again. Once you fall behind on a miticide and you're continually trying to catch up, uh, becomes very expensive and less effective. We realized that if we were gonna control mites, we had to control them early and keep the numbers down. When the numbers start to roll, yeah, you can control, maybe you even control 95% of them, but if you got 26 million out there, you still got more mites than you can deal with. We begin monitoring the mite during bloom, which occurs starting end of February and early March. As we approach a moderate amount of leaf out. That is generally about the same time that the mite start expanding. That normally would happen around, you know, the third week in March. And we will up spray with the Apollo then, and that will give us generally about a month control. And about the third week in April, uh, the leaves are still clean and supple, and they will take the ABBA in, and then you will get six to eight weeks control with the ABBA. I like the ultra formulation. It seems to perform as well as the old DC. One of the reasons I really like it is because it does help our environment in reducing VOCs. And anything we can do in our industry to be environmentally protective and safe and sound uh, will help our cause of sustainable agriculture. The last half of May and June, I mean, that's when you really want to be paying attention to water and fertility and everything else and not having to interrupt your normal cultural routine to take care of a, a mite problem that you shouldn't be having. Every year, three to four weeks after treatment in May, we're coming back with another kind of a, uh, a rescue treatment. So this year, and this before knowing the season was going to be so bad, I had talked to a couple growers about doing something a little different. We'll use Apollo, uh, good oversight in with our abamectin, go about 10, 12 days earlier than we normally would have in hopes that it would hold us through whole split and sure enough it did. So all you can do is monitor the orchard closely and have a plan of attack and Apollo is definitely that first plan for me. The Apollo Early program really is, is a logical approach to mite control. Uh, before when growers would wait to, to see mites, uh, we've seen what can happen, they can just get out of control. Apollo Early provides growers with a tool that helps them stay in control of the problem before it becomes a big issue. Yeah, if you're going uh, Apollo early, you know, you have the additional cost, but it's still gonna be a fraction of what you would pay to retreat. Means that you're already going through the field, 
you know, you already have a guy on, on the tractor, so you're just paying for the material. Whereas if you have to do a rescue, now you're paying for labor, fuel, going through the field again, and the material. Mites is not something to, to let get ahead of you. It'll defoliate the trees. That's just sets you back for next year, not only this year, but for next year too. It's better to be safe than sorry. And once mites get out of control, it's very expensive. And to throw a little bit of extra money early in the season, I think is uh, well worth it. And I think most growers are gonna be happy with that.